Hey, it's time for Tech Talk number 24. Four. 24. The first of 2020. Yeah, I miscounted last week. Yeah, who's counting? Yeah, but it's the end of the year. Well, actually, if you're watching this now, it's the beginning of 2020. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what are some of the things we want to talk about for 2020? I'll you do know? a little bit. We'll do a little look backwards. Okay. 2019, because it's always good to review Maybe some of the things that we learned together that we've all forgotten because it was a long year. Yeah. Um, and then I have a couple of things that, you know, maybe should be paid attention to for next year. Too. Yeah. And we have a special guest tonight, which we normally don't have during Tech Talk. I know. I'm so glad we can have Rick Wasserman here because he has an interesting product to show you guys. So All, right. uh, all that and all more as we begin 2020 with VoiceOver Body Shop Tech Talk right now. From the outer reaches, they came, bearing the knowledge of what it takes to properly record your voiceover audio. And together, from the center of the VO universe, they bring it to you now. George Widom, the engineer to the VO stars, a Virginia Tech grad with the skills to build, set up, and maintain the professional VO studios of the biggest names in VO today. And you, Dan Leonard, the voiceover home studio master, a professional voice talent with the knowledge and experience to help you create a professional sounding home VO studio. And each week, they allow you into their world, making the complex simple, debunking the myths of what it takes to create great sounding audio, answering your questions, showing you the latest and greatest in VO tech, and having a dandy time doing it. Welcome to VoiceOver Body Shop. Tech Talk. VoiceOver Body Shop Tech Talk is brought to you by VoiceOverEssentials.com, home of Harlan Hogan Signature Products, Source Elements, remote studio connections for everyone, VoiceActorWebsites.com, where your VO website isn't a pain in the butt, VOHeroes.com, become a hero to your clients with award-winning voiceover training, J. Michael Collins Demos, when quality matters, and VoiceOver Extra, your daily resource for VO success. And now, live to drive from their super secret clubhouse and studio in Sherman Oaks, California. Here are the guys. Hello there, and happy 2020. I'm Dan Leonard. And I'm George Whittem. And this is VoiceOver. Body Shop. Or VO. B.S. Yeah. All I right. It. I love it. For the first Tech it. Talk of 2020, we got a great show tonight. Because we're going to look back a little bit, but then we're going to look forward. And then into. And then into. <laughs> a tribe. Should be very interesting. <laughs> yeah, no, Rick Wasserman is here with us tonight. <clears> and yeah. we're going to look at the tribooth. Which An interesting new development in, in the world of mobile voiceover or possibly your very first home studio it could work very well in a place that perhaps you weren't thinking you could actually do voiceover <laughs> but not your bathroom no matter right. what <laughs> Although we've we've heard it um you know we also have some audio we haven't done bad audio of the week in like eight years no but we've got an interesting audio sample that is a great example of having all the right tools all the right gear and then using soundproof them. room but then using some software incorrectly yeah that so should be, be a very, great very interesting. And, uh, you know, all the other fun stuff that we talk about on here and uh, your your update. And uh, so let's get the show on the road. What's up in your tech update this week? Well, just starting off, I thought it'd be fun to go back and dig through show notes from the last year and see what, if anything, I thought was somewhat significant. So the first story I saw in 2019 that I think is something that you know, it's a cautionary thing. Maybe it's a little bit tinfoil hatty kind of thing, but really it's, it is not so tinfoil hat nowadays. And that is protecting your uh, passwords. And there's a, a website uh, that I mentioned back in January a year ago called have I been pwned.com. <laughs> this is very geeky way of saying have some, does somebody have my, uh, does somebody have my uh, password? Is, is there, is my password been released into the wild? Is it being distributed in a database? Is my password out there? So that's 
Um, I don't know where the pwned thing came from. It's it's a it's a geeky term for you've been owned, saying mm. that you now somebody now owns your data. So if you go to have I been p w n e d dot com, you can look up uh, your information and see. Uh, you can put in your email address. You can put in and see where your email has been leaked out, and you can put in more importantly your passwords and figure out which passwords that you use way too often and that have been ending up in databases that you don't know about. So anyway, that's one of the first things that came out last year. Um, also in tying into that is if you're not already using a password manager, um, other than like the one that comes on your Mac, like the keychain or something like this, um, I recommend something like called LastPass. And it's a place to not only store all your sensitive data and keep it under a very strong password mm -hmm. um, in a secure way, but you can also put a lot of secure actual uh, other information. Like you can keep banking records, uh, files, your social security information, whatever stuff that you want to keep and be able to access later securely, that's le better than a sheet of paper in the drawer or, you know, a note, a post-it note that says <laughs> password. <laughs> password. <laughs> um, I highly, highly recommend LastPass for that. It's It's been approved by the the most secure, conscious uh, folks in the business. It's on my laptop right there. It's a duplicate password. It looks like you're using the same password on multiple sites. Yeah. Don't I mean, do that. See, they try to convince you that it's bad to keep the same password used over and over on a lot of different sites, and they will help you generate new ones. In fact, you can have LastPass generate a completely nonsense password that you'll but it's never it. memorize. Right. Um, but it, it keeps it stored for you. So anyway. That's one story that came up that I just think is really important for people to be aware about. Um, audio interface of the year, just something I just thought of. I was going to say, and now the award for audio interface of the year. Right. And not that it was new in 2019, but it's just one that I have just so consistently recommended with such good results that I just, I have to give it my own little seal of approval on the show. And that's the Steinberg UR12 for the value that you spend on this unit and the return you get from it, it just, I've not really seen anything quite like it. It's generally available for under a hundred dollars. I've bad. seen it. Black Friday, 59 bucks. I actually grabbed a couple. Um, and it's, it's sound quality is great. It's features are exactly really what you need on that unit. It doesn't have a lot of extra confusing controls. You don't have to install anything. There's no console you have to install to, do anything. You right. just plug your headphones in, plug your mic in, turn up the gain. You're off to you're off to the races. Um, and it's just it just has what you need without bogging you down with features. It's got one little extra trick up its sleeve that I think really separates it from all of its competition. You know, there's the Scarlets. We always talk about them. They're great. But what Steinberg did was they added a little trick, which is a loopback feature. Oh, okay. so. If Fun you stuff. do want to use the loopback feature, you do need to install the accompanying application, but it's a very small little application and it totally disappears unless you need it. And then you can open up a little window and in that window is a little checkbox and all it does is turn on loopback mode. And once it's in loopback mode, now you can play back something you've just recorded and it will now feed back out of the USB and into whatever software you're using. Right. Like, so, or if like, you want to have like Skype or Zoom. Right. Or if you're doing a phone patch, doing your own like streaming radio station or playing or something like that, yeah, you, if you can have play a playlist of stuff and you can play it all and back have it on stream there. back out somewhere else. Yes, that's what Loopback does. It's so interesting because it's it's a software driver thing, and other companies should be doing this, but they're not. They're not paying attention. Steinberg is, and I love that about the Steinberg UR12. So that's my that's my favorite interface of the year, and it will remain being my favorite until something else comes along to dethrone it. Um, for right. that price point, it's pretty much impossible to beat, I think. Um, biggest surprise of the year, I think, for me, gear-wise, was the MicPort Pro 2. Mm -hmm. the Centurance had released the mixer face, and that's something we've been anticipating for, for five years? a long time, <laughs> at least four or five years. So that one I we all saw coming from a, for a long way away. But after that was released, several months later, um, along came the MicPort Pro 2. And... Um, that was really a big surprise. And um, as is Centrance is known to do, the quality of the unit definitely holds up. I mean, it's 
Um, I've had some very technical guys review this thing against other much more expensive gear, and they've all said that the sound quality is fantastic. Centrance did their homework on this and worked out all the bugs before they released it. Yeah. It, yeah. They've baked either and features added stuff. in. Yeah, yeah. they've baked features in that others don't have. Like, it's got a battery, so you can plug it into an iPhone that doesn't normally power most devices. Um, it's got a, uh, it's got a, uh, a high-pass filter, which is handy if your mic is like a TLM-103, which picks up all Everything. kinds of rumble. Everything, yeah. Um, and it's got a limiter, which uh, if you're doing a lot of animation voiceover uh, auditions and things and you're really concerned about clipping, that's a little safety net for you. So it's a very versatile device. So that one was a big surprise for the year. Um, another another a software that surprised me this year is a noise reduction software from a company called Clevgrand. And the software is called Bruce Free, um, which I think means noise free in... Swedish, if don't quote me on that. But anyway, it's a it's it's a really interesting noise reduction tool. And we're gonna talk about noise reduction a little bit later. Mm -hmm. But what it's one of these tools that works a little bit like the audacity noise reduction where you have it listen to yeah, some of the little, noise, yeah. it makes a print and then it removes it. It's how it does it that's so different. Um and I I just recommend go get, giving it a look at Clev Grand that's K L E V Grand dot S E um slash product slash bruce free they make a bunch of different stuff it even runs on an ipad or an ios device Not bad. so you can install this on your iphone record and say twisted wave and you can send the audio into bruce free from twisted wave and have it clean up the noise floor before you send it out which could be really awesome if you're doing auditions from your hotel or your car so that one was a real surprise and um it's a great price and it's a great product and the last thing that was like the big splash of 2019 was, um, you know, it matters to some of us that run Twisted Wave. Twisted Wave added punch in recording. All right. And uh, so we're really glad that um, for those that use Twisted Wave, they now have that as, a, as an option. When you're doing long form recording and you want to kind of maybe speed up production time, some people find that punch in recording is a time saver. I know audiobook narrators often say it is for them. Um, and it's just the ability to choose a point where you've made an error. Let's say you've recorded and you've made a flub, go back to that point where the flub occurred, put the little play cursor here, like click, and then say punch in, and it will start playing behind it a few seconds. That's called pre-roll. And then right at the moment where your mistake was, it will engage recording. So you can hear the previous phrase and then pick up and keep going. It's something worth experimenting with. For some people, it may be a time saver. For others, it may be a distraction. It may be frustrating, um, especially if you don't like having your computer and your software in front of you when you're voice acting. This would be not something you would want to use. Um, so everybody is different. And so, but if, you're, if you want to have that efficiency, this is a tool that you can, you can have in your toolbox. All so right. that's the stuff that I, those are the stories I found from last year that we talked about that I thought, worth mentioning again they are i mean when it comes to voiceover is there a whole lot new under the sun i mean you'll get some products i mean what you and i do when we look at these products is how does this help you in voiceover it's fun to be geeky and it's fun to have stuff to play with or yeah. something that you might think sure helps you do the you know sound better or as I sound like to better. say, yeah, it's not, it, it's not important to sound fantastic, whatever that means. You just don't want to sound bad. And the more things you add into the mix, the more potential you have for making mistakes and we'll, we'll visit we'll, that. We'll, we'll, and we'll yeah, visit that issue. in a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, interesting. What do you think's coming up that's important in 2020? Well, I try to think about some of the things that were out there. I mean, we're going to look at a product in a little bit that's kind of cool. We just released it. I had something to do with it called the Tri-Booth. But in terms of things that maybe affect everybody in 2020, it clearly seems to be 5G in terms of phone mobile data. Right. This is something that's being tested. Um, some networks or some cities already have some limited connectivity. But basically what 5G is, is this promise of, extremely fast internet connectivity wherever you are um, on your mobile devices whatever um, they're saying speeds should be expected between one and two gigabits a second 
I mean, these are speeds that the vast majority of us don't even get at home on our on our own network. So you yeah. could potentially run things like Source Connect and various other wow. things over your phone. You could stream live stream 4K. Wow, ten streams of 4K over. I mean, it's it's a ridiculous amount of bandwidth. So the problems that really are that have to be the hurdles that have to be leaped here in terms of be, technology not going to be cheap either. well of course it's not going to be cheap because this this system has to be built right? right so now they have to roll it out to all the cell phone towers right and then the companies that want to use that technology now have to build it into their devices there's a few really early adopter android phones i think that have it and they're generally fifteen hundred dollars and up phones because it's just really bleeding edge stuff um it's going to become mainstream, just like, I don't know if you guys remember, maybe it was five years ago when LTE became mainstream. How long has it been now? I'm, I'm losing track. It's four or five years. It was the same thing. You know, we there's this LTE thing oh coming. Boy. AT&T is always the first one to say, we're first. And they say, they'll call it ATT uh, 4G-E right. for evolution, which is just 3G. And now they're doing it with AT&T 5G-E. It's BS. It doesn't mean anything. It's just branding. But um, when 5G comes out, I think we're going to be looking at more phones this year. Probably the iPhone will come out with it this year. That'll When the iPhone comes out with 5G, that's when people are going to start paying attention and taking notice. How is it going to benefit all of us? I'm not even sure that. I'm just not even sure yet. I'm using... Um, an iPhone 11, which I've just started using, which I really do love. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. <laughs> yeah, on an iPhone. <laughs> I waited forever to get an iPhone. I resisted. Finally... Didn't resist it. Like, I wow, mean, it, fi it finally, to me, came with all the features I wanted and all these and the little bells and whistles that I wanted to. So that is, um, to me, with that, with LTE mobile, and I'm using Visible, uh, for mobile data. It runs on, Visible is a pay-as-you-go, no contract service that runs on Verizon's LTE. To me, I've got the perfect combination right now. And I get as much, unless I'm in a really fringe area or with a, a black hole where there's no data, I get all the speed I really need. So I'm trying to figure out what the, the, the new uses are going to be for all this data speed that we're going to supposedly have, you know? Yeah. It's one of those things, do we figure out uses for it because we have it? Like we're going to all start being able to do things we never thought we would possibly try on mobile devices. Like we don't have anything else to do. <laughs> I, I know. Like our jobs. <laughs> I, I know. I know. I think this is going to benefit certainly like law enforcement or medical industries, right. and things like that, where they want to, they need this capability everywhere they go. But who knows? Is it going to really affect all of us? I'm not really sure. But in terms of what's coming in 2020, that's definitely, the, to me, the big story um, in terms of what tech we're going to be looking out for. All right. And uh, so this year, we'd like to do more roundtables, mm -hmm. you know, mo mostly technical roundtables. And I think we'll yeah. probably keep them to uh, you know, our tech talks, but, you know, get our usual suspects in, but get some other guest uh, technical folk in and uh, talk about some of the things that you'd like to hear about. Uh, yeah, I mean, we could have roundtables as, you know, specific as like a roundtable on Twisted Wave. That's right. A roundtable on OW Audition. A roundtable on Pro Tools. Did I say Pro Tools? Did you say Pro Tools? Basically, I mean, whatever you guys feel there's value in it for you as our viewers, let us know because we, we want to build roundtables that are helpful to you. And that means gathering together experts. Right. In certain things. Yeah. And not just on technology, but also on, you know, on social media and various yeah. other things that affect our business. So yeah. that'll be, that'd be interesting to, uh, to talk about. Yep. Um, all right. Um, also people can bring you out. Tell us about that. Oh yeah. And then we can talk about I, us in general. Something I launched this year. It's, uh, you know, sometimes people are in different cities that want to have me able to come to their studio, but it's too costly generally for one person to just bring me out, you know, travel and all that stuff. But you can get a group of people together and do a group buy, and I call it Bring George Out. So if you're in a city in, this, in the U.S. generally, but it could be Canada too, um, do, reach out. Uh, there's a web, there's this form on the website at George the Tech or George the dot tech slash B-G-O. Fill it out, and uh, we can figure out how we could bring me to your to your area. 
and uh, you can have a few friends do a group buy, share the cost of the travel and all that stuff, and you could have me in your studios. And yeah. uh, so that's that's a new idea. We'll see how it goes. It's 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 a way to get me to Dallas and Miami and all these Kansas City and all these cities that I haven't been able to visit. And visit all the great food that they have in all these places. Oh, get man. some real KC barbecue. Oh, instead. boy. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, check that out. And uh, Dan, what are you doing over on your tech support website? Uh, well, we've got uh, over at homevoiceoverstudio.com. Uh, you know, the, I talk about what I do. I love working with people personally, going into their homes, and yeah. as I like to say, sniff around. <laughs> Find the best place to set up a studio. I was in somebody's uh, home this week, and they showed me this big cathedral ceiling place, and I'm like, no, not in here. Uh, <laughs> do you have a closet somewhere? And we found the perfect closet for it, and it's going to work great. And because yeah, it doesn't have fun. to, you, you don't have to be real sophisticated. I think people tend to way overthink their home studio. Mm -hmm. And if you just talk to somebody like me or you that know, you know, because we've set up literally hundreds and hundreds of home studios, every place is different, every place is unique, and we will find the best place to set it up for you and show you how to set it up. And in, in your case, build them. In my case, I'll help you set it up and build them. And uh, it's it's fun stuff to do. And it's not something you want to guess at and make mistakes. The way you save time and money on that is you hire someone like me or George. Get the right advice up front. Exactly. So, so worth it. Yeah. But one of the things that I do mm -hmm. is I have my specimen collection cup. Oh, yes. The famous on, specimen, specimen. And somebody submitted a specimen this week. Yes. Uh, and I, uh, I won't mention any names, but it's like, so he says, you know, here's the email that came with it. Okay. He says, I have a Dell PC, a Mackie Pro FX12 interface, a Neumann TLM 107, hmm. uh, Adobe Audition, and Isotope RX7, which is not a Mazda. It's a sound processing software. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> uh, a custom built studio with well insulated foot thick walls in the rear of my home. Foot thick. Foot thick. You know, an armor piercing shell could not get through it. <laughs> Uh, in a quiet neighborhood, the studio has no AC or heating vents, so he's hot and cold, no extraneous electrical equipment, and my computer is isolated in a special cabinet to reduce or eliminate fan noise. I process my wave master files with Isotope RX-7 voice denoise feature and then auditions his reduction before saving as an MP3. The ACX engineer's name is so-and-so. Okay. Apparently... This person was having a problem with ACX. So ACX's QC engineers were going, nah, yeah, this like isn't going to work. Right. So there's lots of clues in what he says here. One, I got a foot thick wall. I live in a quiet neighborhood. It should be dead quiet in there. Yeah. So why is he adding all of this stuff to it? That's a good question. But let's listen to his audio. I don't think his name is mentioned in there. but uh, And listen to what happens to really good, clean audio when you add all this stuff to it. All right, here we go. United States Senate Public Hearing Room, Washington, D.C. Good morning, Director Thompson, the chairman of the committee offered. As the CIA director sat rigidly before him and nodded, I see you have a lot of reference material on the table in front of you this morning. Is a copy of the OSS payroll records for 1945 among them? He asked politely. All right. I think it's enough to give you guys an a idea. really good idea of what that's about. So, I mean, this is a great example of, of having a lot of good tools that has at, at, the, at his disposal. I mean, he's got a good, uh, the TLM 107, while nowhere near as popular, or well known as some of the others, it's, um, a, it's a Neumann. It's a very high quality microphone, great quality. Better than a Radio Shack electric condenser mic. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a great microphone. The the audio interface in this case, meh, dubiously good. It's a Mackie Pro FX12. It's a, a sort of a very affordable USB mixer. It it's takes not, analog sound and turns it into, well, this is just it's a not mixer. what I would choose, but yeah. it, it it it's not going to make it sound that like that. What makes it sound the way you're hearing it is over processing the audio. Or processing and, at all for yeah. Time. Well, there's a lot of processing going on, and, and basically, I'm glad he said that he's using RX7 voice denoise and another layer of processing 
using Audition's Hiss Reduction. What we don't have is the original raw, untouched audio. Yeah. So is... we don't really know why he's doing that. Right. Are you doing it because simply you have the tools, and so, you're, well, if I have them, I should use them? Or are you doing it because the raw audio sounded so noisy that you felt you had to, that there was a technical issue with your equipment? Well, there's, I don't know. there's lots of clues in that. Why would someone use hiss reduction? Generally because it's a record, you record too low a level. The three most important things with your home voiceover studio mm -hmm. are, number one, the acoustics of the room. He's yeah. got this sound-tight place in a quiet neighborhood with a foot-thick wall that you can't shoot armor-piercing shells <laughs> through, so you should not be able to hear anything. Yeah. So why is there hiss? Usually, it's because somebody has recorded at too low a level, and they have raised it up or normalized it at the end, and that brings up the hiss in there. And so if another, you set it right yeah. in the first place, you're not going to have any. Another ideas. clue is the fact that he's using a mixer that has an interface inside it. There are plenty of places to screw up your signal chain here in this mixer. You, you've got basically, you're basically the way the mixer works, it's recording every single input all the time. And so if he has all of the faders turned up, the gain turned up on those faders, all of that is noise that gets mixed into the signal. So not knowing how the mixer is set up, that's another opportunity for a whole bunch of hiss to get into that recording that he is then trying to fix later. Right. So we really need to know what's getting into the computer. What is the pre-processed audio that he's recording? And then why is he trying to fix that? Right. So the bottom yeah. line is, is get it right up front. Poop right. in, poop out. Right. You yeah. Know, that, if, if you've got, if you're sending in a lousy signal that's already messed up and then you're trying to clean up the messed up signal, you end up with what we heard there, which is you yeah, know, artifacts I mean, and losing frequencies. And, you know, I was looking at this at a spectrogram. It's like missing the whole top end. Yeah, there was Where'd nothing it go? above, what, 6K or something. something like that. Yeah. So, like, the tools that are available to you also are very powerful. And when used incorrectly, obviously, give bad results. So, bottom line is, if you're going to use all these tools and you want to know how to make use of them, reach out to Dan or I. I mean, we know what tools need to be used and when. We'll make sure that you're not using things you shouldn't be. And we'll, we'll figure out why the audio to begin with is noisy. So for sure, follow up with this email with the audio that you didn't process, just that raw audio, and make sure uh, we get to hear that because there's some important clues we're missing because we don't have that. Yes. Well, doctor, it hurts when I do this. Don't do that then. <laughs> Crying out loud. <laughs> yeah, exactly. sorry, I didn't mean to make you cough. <laughs> All right. Well, we got a special guest coming up, and we got lots of cool stuff to follow up on and questions from our audience. So stay tuned. We'll be right back with our special guest, Rick Wasserman, and the special booth he has. Special. Don't go away. We'll be right back. This is Bill Ratner, and you're enjoying Voice Over Body Shop with Dan Leonard and George Whittem. As a voice talent, you have to have a website. But what a hassle getting someone to do it for you. And when they finally do, they break or don't look right on mobile devices. They're not built for marketing and SEO. They're expensive. You have limited or no control. And it takes forever to get one built and go live. So what's the best way to get you online in no time? Go to voiceactorwebsites.com. Like our name implies, voiceactorwebsites.com just does websites for voice actors. We believe in creating fast, mobile-friendly, responsive, highly functional designs that are easy to read and easy to use. You have full control. No need to hire someone every time you want to make a change. And our upfront pricing means you know exactly what your costs are ahead of time. You can get your voiceover website going for as little as $700. So if you want your voice actor website without the hassle of complexity and dealing with too many options, go to voiceactorwebsites.com, where your VO website shouldn't be a pain in the you-know-what. Question. What's the biggest challenge you have with voiceover? What's been the puzzle you need to solve? The question you need answered. Well, David H. Lawrence the 17th and the coaching team at VOHeroes.com want to know. As we head into the new year, they're planning new courses and new training, and they want to find out what you need most. And it's easy to let him know. Just drop him an email at david at VOHeroes.com and let him know what you'd like to know. Is it tech-oriented? Is it about auditioning? Is it about booking more work, finding an agent? 
podcasting, audiobooks, performance questions. Whatever that one thing is that keeps you up at night, that makes you scratch your head, or that you've always wanted to know about success in VO, email David and ask. The email address again is david at voheroes.com. That's david at voheroes.com. This is the time of the show where we get to talk about one of our wonderful sponsors, Source Elements. Those are the creators of Source Connect. That is a software that voice acting pros are being demanded to have in their home studios by the commercial studios of the world. How do I know this? Well, I've set up software for everybody on every platform and in every scenario you can imagine. And this is the one that people are being requested to get. It's a standalone application, doesn't run on a Google Chrome browser. So you have a lot more stability involved. And this software has been tried and true, tested, improved the whole nine for well over 10 years now. So if you really wanna be establishing a business in voiceover, that works with the top studios in the world, top agents, that kind of thing. Make sure you have Source Connect locked and loaded in your studio. Absolutely important. Go get a 15-day free trial at source-elements.com. 15-day free trial. You don't need an iLock little USB dongly thing to get set up with Source Connect standard right away. So go give it a try and tell them we sent you. We'll be right back right after this. Hey, yeah. Boy, this is a different setup. We're talking right now about voiceoveressentials.com. Our good friend Harlan Hogan tells us that they had a great holiday season. But one of the things they want to tell you about is some of the great new stuff that they have, like the, uh, the, the sign. You can see the sign over there. It's, it's on the wall, and you can see it, and it says voiceover recording. So you can put that on your booth so everybody in your house knows uh, there's lots of great stuff over at voiceoveressentials.com. All you have to do is go over there and go through the menu of all the different things that Harlan has. The most important thing is that he guarantees his stuff. If you don't like it, you can send it back. But what's not to like? The VO1A voice optimized microphone, the Harlan Hogan headphones, which Mr. Whittem is actually wearing at this very moment and uses in our production of Voiceover Body Shop. And all the other great stuff. The ABS, the thing that'll hold your mic up on a, on a boom stand. Uh, it's, it's called the something boom stand. AB, I can't remember adjustable what. Boom adjustable strap. boom strap. That's what it's called for. Or the, as I like to call it, the boom jock strap. Um, it'll hold your mic up just fine. So go over to voiceoveressentials.com and buy all the stuff that Harlan has. Thanks for being our sponsor for almost nine years, Harlan. We couldn't do it without you. Go over there. Tell them you heard it from us, and we thank you. Hi, this is Bill Farmer, and you are watching Voice Over Body Shop. It's great. Hey, it's time to welcome a special guest to Voice Over Body Shop because he's invented something that's really cool. We've always, like, needed something to help us if we're on the road, and we want to carry some extra stuff around. But it's important because some guys, like our guest, have to be available when they need to be available and they have to have a good place to do it. Let's introduce a good friend of ours and a very accomplished voiced talent here in LA, Mr. Rick Wasserman. Hey, good nice to, see to see you again. again. Thanks for having me back. Welcome back to the show. Howdy. Now you've invented uh, this device. I have. It's called the tri -booth. It is called the tri -booth. Tell That's us right. about it. So I actually, I, I'm not alone here. I have a partner. My partner in crime is this guy. You might've heard of him. George Whittem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> George has been my engineer since the beginning of time, since I started, since I came to L.A. I think uh, George had a few clients at the time, so I caught him early on, two guys from Philly, and I trust him with everything. And he's, you know, voiceover has fed my family and paid off loans, and, uh, and I trusted him to do everything for me. Well, I uh, have been the voice of several networks, uh, AMC for 15 years, uh, A&E for four. No, I'm telling this to make a point. No, okay, not just right. to... Toot my horn, but I am. Uh, but I'm always in the booth. Mm -hmm. I'm always in the booth all the time, and you know what this is like. Yeah. But I am an actor. I mean, I did go to school for it. That's what I want to be doing. I want to be on stage. I want to be acting. But you're not going to turn down the money. The network comes to you. You're going to stay in that booth. So I'm in the booth all the time. All I can't do theater. And at some point, 15 years into it, I said to my wife, listen, I'm going to go nuts. I can't stay in this booth. 
uh, you know, they call it the golden handcuffs, right? Yes. The golden handcuffs, because you've got this wonderful, uh, financially lucrative kind of uh, setup. But you're in. We had this big, beautiful house in Calabasas. Can't leave. Can't leave. Can't go outside. Can't enjoy it. There's worse places to live. No, no. I'm telling you. Yeah, I told yeah, my wife we can yeah. live anywhere, but it's got to look like vacation because we ain't going on one. <laughs> so that's where we are. And then I said to George, "Listen." How can we do this? How can I find a way to get out of the booth? And he said, there's got to be ways to do it. There are mobile setups. So we got one, I think off of eBay. And it was big. We had to ship it. And I went and it worked. Now, it took George's help. He had to build kind of a little filter for me to make it work, a little plug-in to help right. everything sound really good. And when I came back, we reviewed. Well, could we make it better? Yeah, we could probably, we could probably do this ourselves. I mean, it's just furniture blankets and PVC. There must be a way to do it. And over the next several years, we kept honing it. And every time I got a new job, we'd build a new booth. And we kept refining it and it evolved. And it became this, the Bookable Tri Booth. And what is so special about it is every problem I ever had, we fixed. Like a lot of times with these mobile kits, there's a lot of pieces. Well, there's pipes in here. But all of these pipes are uh, strung together with shock cord, bungee cord, just like a tent. Like a tent, yeah. So, it's just, so you can't lose a piece. Right. It all goes together. This is PVC, but it's uh, thin-walled, uh, like UV, it's UV re resistant, yeah. furniture grade PVC. You can't PVC. use it for plumbing. Yeah. You, won't, you wouldn't use it for plumbing. Right. Okay. So it's nicer looking, but it also feels nicer. It's much lighter than regular PVC. It doesn't have any printing on it. And then, of course, all the... Furniture blankets, it's double insulated. Uh, this is, uh, and by the way, it is, a, it is a triangle. It's a triangular shape. It's not like a uh, foam booth, right? Mm -hmm. There's the floor. But, but yeah, so you can kind of see it. But um, I'll open it up just so you can kind of take a look at what we've done here. It just opens up if you want to see inside. Cool. Everything that you see here comes with the booth. Uh, so here's what it looks like inside. So there's an LED light up here that we can dim. Ooh. Yeah, we like that. That's cool. Because you might need it. Right. Um, and then here is your copy stand. This, what looks just like branding, is actually a magnet. So if you do have kind of analog copy, you got a paper, you could stick it on there, make sure it doesn't fall in, uh, in your pursuits to voice act. But there's also tilts down and will hold your laptop. If not, it will sit up and hold your tablet. How do you charge your phone? How do you charge? Well, I was right, going to say, how do you charge your well, phone? Well, right down here, <laughs> there's a power hub. So it's got three AC outlets and then three USB outlets. So you can keep charging your iPhone, iPad, tablet, whatever you got. Beverage holder, because if you know, you're doing voiceover, you're likely a heavy drinker. So you've got uh, <laughs> your cocktail stand right here. Right. Yep. And, uh, and then, of course, what if your booth is not right near the wall? So you go to... Uh, how you go to your uh, Hawaiian uh, cabana, you're sitting in there, but the outlet's over there. We include a 15-foot uh, extension cord, wow. so you can always reach uh, the, the outlet. Uh, the whole thing packs down into a suitcase, which is right over here. Show it, right this down there. This is a hard shell 28-inch roller suitcase. The whole thing fits in there, and those three extra pipes there are if you are taller, if you're a Laker, or you think you might get taller, and you want more headroom, uh, you can raise this up uh, still another foot so to accommodate people who are over seven feet tall. Um, and we've had someone who had to do it, so it's possible. We also include uh, this Do Not Disturb sign, recording in progress, and then of course you can make up my room now, of course, if you pick this. We also have this little emergency kit in there with our logo with the broken handcuffs. It comes with written instructions, pencil, ways to contact us if you need help while you're on the road, all that sort of thing. The whole thing packs down is under uh, 50 pounds, so you don't incur any overage fees when you check it in at the airport, because this travels. Wow. And, it, and it, you just check it, and it's gone. You and check it, and, and it forget shows it. up at the other end. And it shows up at the Supposedly. other end. Supposedly. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. as good as we thought it would be for people like you and I, some pros that might want to take a vacation here and there, for people who don't have a booth at all, don't have the room for a booth, you could do this. You could do this and have broadcast quality recording environment, uh, which we're very proud of. Yeah. It's taken a long time. It is patent pending. And it's uh, all together mine and George's. Oh, very cool. So if I step in here, yeah, you can hear that it is... Dan, that mic connection is pretty... Flicky. Flicky. Don't hold it by the cable. Okay. Is Perfect. it okay now? Perfect. Yep. Okay, good. Shall I close I'm you in? I'm a professional. I know how to use these things. Sure. <laughs> professional one. Yeah. All right. Let me, okay. let me get you in here. Okay. So I'll just close you in. Okay. Rick is now closing me in the booth. That is now getting closed in the booth. Yes. And Carol Merrill will come out when it's when it's done here. So anyway, so this is what it sounds like in here. And it's uh, it's not boothy sounding. It's nice and quiet. 
And I think because of the double insulation, it's keeping a lot of the noise out. Not that it's really noisy in our studio, but it 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 definitely could work as a as a main studio. So I'm impressed. All right. <laughs> and I'm not easily impressed. <laughs> it's got a sunroof too. It oh. does have a sunroof, yeah. So if it gets hot in there, you can just pop up the top. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Very good. So and retail on this? This is fifteen hundred dollars. There is only one version of it that we sell. It is this version with everything included. Uh, and we figured some people who can't foot five grand for their home studio, of course, that home studio is not going to move anywhere. This can kind of fulfill a lot. So we've had a lot of kind of industry pros buy this thing. In fact, we sold one today. I can't say who the person is, but they said to me um, during our demo, they wanted to hate it. They just didn't want it to work. They, did, they didn't want it to work because there's so many things out there and they've tried everything. And they didn't want another thing. But people are buying another thing because it works, yeah. and, and it's time to here. Look at this. Hey, look, it's a little, it's a little card. You getting that? Yes. Look Breaking that. the golden handcuffs. Sometimes wow. you gotta get out of the booth. You gotta live life. Absolutely. You know, and if it's something that's affordable for somebody, you know, as we like to say, you don't buy great equipment to get work. You work to get great equipment. Yes. Something like this can get you over the hump to do that. I would think so. Yeah. So no more just audition quality. In fact, George and I have been taking it to voiceover agencies. Because they would like their talent to be able to record their audition in a quality that would likely help them book it. So this could raise their booking rates. And I think they recognize how valuable this could be. Not recording in your car, not sitting, you know, right in your bathroom. You can get something better. Very cool. I'm impressed. Thanks, Dan. And like, that's really cool. And you put it up in like two minutes. Yeah, it goes up under 10 minutes. I can get it about seven or eight, uh, but I'm Olympic. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's right. Rick, thanks for coming thanks up. Thanks so much for having this me. to us. I appreciate it. Most, most impressive. All right. The try booth. Give it a shot in 2020. All right. George and I will be right back to wrap things up. And maybe another question or two right after this. This is Ariana Ratner, and you're listening to Voice Over Body Shop, VOBS.TV. <laughs> Well, hello there. I bet you weren't expecting to hear some big-voiced announcer guy on your new orientation training for Snapchat, were you? This is Virgin Radio. Well, okay, we're not that innocent. There's jeans for wearing and there's jeans for working. Dickies, because I ain't here to look pretty. She's a champion of progressive values, a leader for California, and a voice for America. It's smart. It's a phone. It's a smartphone. But it's so much more. It's a, the files are ready. Don't forget to pick up the eggs. What time is hockey practice? Check out this song. It's the end of the road for Rick. It's just you and me, Rick. When hope is lost. The I-8 from BMW. Who said saving the planet couldn't be stylish? Hey, it's J. Michael Collins. Bet you think I'm going to try and sell you a demo now, huh? I think they speak for themselves. But I will give you my email. It's jmichael at jmcvoiceover.com. Now, if Dan will stop waxing his mustache for a minute, we'll get back to the show. Your dynamic voiceover career requires extra resources to keep moving ahead. Now there's one place where you can explore everything the voiceover industry has to offer. That place is voiceoverextra.com. Whether you're just exploring a voiceover career or a seasoned veteran ready to reach that next professional level, stay in touch with market trends, coaching, products and services while avoiding scams and other pitfalls. Voiceover Extra has hundreds of articles, free resources and training that will save you time and help you succeed. Learn from the most respected talents, coaches, and industry insiders when you join the online sessions bringing you the most current information on topics like audiobooks, auditioning, casting, home studio setup and equipment, marketing, performance techniques, and much more. It's time to hit your one-stop daily resource for voiceover success. Sign up for a free subscription to newsletters and reports and get 14 bonus reports on how to ace the voiceover audition. It's all here at voiceoverextra.com. That's voiceoverxtra.com. Hi, this is Bill Farmer, and you are watching Voice Over Body Shop. It's great. You guys have room. You can have a seat. I don't know if there's room. All right. We are back. Well, that was a... We haven't done many demonstrations here. Especially not something that big. <laughs> that's the, that's definitely the biggest thing we've ever tried to demo 
inside our tiny little studio. I think we've heard, yeah, usually it's like, oh, look at this little thing we got here. You know, <laughs> here's, a, here's a mixer face. Here, let's check out this microphone and stuff like yeah. that. Uh, well, I got still, a, there's a, there's a personal question here. Oh, there is. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's two questions. One's from Dick Morris and I don't think it's Bill Clinton's assistant there. I think okay. Some other Dick Morris on Facebook. He says, uh, gee, how do you like the inexpensive handmade TZ Zeller X2 mic? I'm impressed with it. Well, well we Dick. talked about it two weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, we did talk about it two weeks. It's so like, my thought on that microphone is if you're lucky enough to get one that it, it's a total crapshoot whether you're going to get a good one or not with these microphones. You have to be aware that these are made with questionable amounts of quality control. There's no doubt that if you have a good one, it's going to sound great. There's no doubt that the one that, uh, you know, Booth Junkie got, which is, I guarantee why you know about it, because they sent one to him, him. and 30,000 people immediately knew about the mic. Um, but the thing about something like that is you just absolutely no guarantee that the one you're going to get is going to be built the same and sound the same as the one that was on that block. When you buy a microphone from any of the huge, you know, companies that are out there, Audio-Technica, MXL, St uh, St Sennheiser, uh, AKG, on and on. They, they, they invest a huge amount of money in quality control, making sure every mic that goes out is of the same quality. Yeah, we've, and, we've seen MXL do that in their, in, you know, in their, their facility in yeah. El Segundo. And that was yeah. fascinating. Even, even Blue, Blue makes $100 microphones that go through this kind of quality control. So this is the problem with this mic. It's this, it's obviously a phenomenon. We've had a lot of people mentioning it. It's uh it's gotten a lot of buzz and congratulations to the company for getting this buzz. I'm sure it's amazing, but there's just no guarantee that the one you're going to get is going to be sounding as great as the one that Dick happened to get or or um, um Mike. Mike over at the Booth Junkie yeah. happened to get. So I have not heard the mic yet. Um if one shows up on my doorstep, I'll certainly plug it in, give it a shot. Chances are I'll be impressed with it, um, but I'm I'm not going to say go buy one and endorse is it. Is it a U87? I, I mean, it's designed to sound like a U87, like a million other microphones out there at this point are trying to sound like it, and it gets close. And that's the thing: a lot of mics get close to sounding like a U87. Exactly. This is just another one in in my in my opinion. So, okay. long story short, I'm yeah. glad you're impressed with it. It's great. I haven't heard it yet. And I can't vouch for everyone being the same. I'll have to try it and let you know. Yeah. So you can send me one too. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> here's a personal question from Harlow Rodriguez, who's been watching our show for a couple of weeks. Uh, he says, hey, Dan and George, what are your goals for 2020? Also, is Dawview coming back? That's always helpful. Mm. Well, we actually used Dawview tonight. We actually did. You know, we actually did. You know, so uh, what are your goals for 2020? Well, um... I think the the bring George out idea where I want to start being able to reach more people in other cities and other markets is something I'd like to foster a little bit this year. Um, you know, I, I hear all the time, like someone saying, when are you going to come to my city? Um, and I've been wanting to find a way to address that. And I put a lot of time into developing this idea, this concept and making it something that's accessible, hopefully, and building the webpage and all that around it. So that's something I'd like to see fostered more and maybe get around a little bit more uh, this year. I've got a few conferences I'm going to be going to, which I'm really um, excited about doing. I'm going to go to NAM show in a couple of weeks with my brother, Steve, who will be coming to visit. No, oh, cool. Which is fun. Um, I'm going to be attending, um, maybe even all of us will hopefully will be attending NAB, um, which should be, which should be fun. It's a, it's just an incredible is that show. Is in LA it's, this year? NAB is, as far as I know, always in Las Vegas. Yeah. Oh, that's I don't right. think it's ever in, in L.A. A a is, a a a AES was... Is AES will flip-flop uh, from, uh, from L.A. to New York, exactly. Yeah. I'm not sure where it is this year. Maybe this year it's L.A., um, which in case I would definitely go. Um, and I'm looking forward to... Uh, there's a there's a, a small conference that's new this year, and it's called... Rick, correct me if I'm wrong. Camp VO? Camp VO. Camp VO. Have you heard about this conference? I've not heard of Camp VO. I I really know that and didn't know that much about it, but uh, it's basically literally camping, like you stay at a camp. Voice actors are in cabins. They're staying in like ten to twenty people to a room. 
Right. Oh, that door's not going to open very far. And uh, they all are staying together in these cabins, and then they take all these classes and learn all these different uh, the voice acting tactics from coaches. Right. So I'm going to be there this year. That should be interesting. It's in May. What are the acoustics um, like out in the woods? <laughs> Exactly. Well, it should sound pretty dang good, actually. Yeah, really. just, just, you like hearing keep birds the sound and bats. And... Screaming mountain lions out of your recording. <laughs> you don't know what a screaming mountain lion yeah. sounds like. Google it. Yeah, really. it's horrific. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this this year, I've I, you know I've got a lot of stuff going on. You know, uh, you know there's voiceover stuff comes with voiceover stuff comes. I have my established clients always auditioning for new things. Yeah. Uh, want to help more people with their home studios. I've mm -hmm. uh, been getting out there and helping people out and, you know, teaching, which I love to Enjoying do. Enjoying that the fact that you're here in L.A. now. I, because I can actually go to people's, people's houses. houses. Voice you know, actors everywhere. All, yeah. all over Los Angeles. And <clears> it's <throat> kind of cool. It's like the opening of the Beverly Hillbillies sometimes <laughs> when you're driving through the go, Wow, I live here. This is really cool. Uh, also, a lot of stuff with podcasting. Uh, a lot of people have approached mm -hmm. me and said, will you do this podcast for me? And I'm like, why, sure. I'd love to host a podcast with you. And, uh, you know, financial advisors and acting and stuff, you know, not necessarily related to voiceover. And going back to my roots as a, as a public service director and producing shows like that, everybody thinks it's alchemy. It's just radio. But you got to know, you know, it's like the guy with the, uh, the steam fitter with the hammer. It's not a matter of how hard you hit. It's where you hit. Exactly. Anyway, yep. Yep. So yep. that's that's that. So anyway, who are our donors of the week? Donors of the week. They're we right here. Donors. We, we do. Got donors. They're right here. You got donors. We got lots of... I'll read off your screen. Yeah, there you go. Uh, <laughs> Shauna Pennington Baird, uh, Dwayne DeSalvo, Stephanie Sutherland, Patty Gibbons, Brian Page, and Tom Pinto. All right. Thank hey, you, everybody. Yeah. And show us your booths. You know. We just showed you the tri booth. <laughs> There you go. By the way, I, I was remiss in mentioning, if you want to find this thing, trybooth.com. We think we found the shortest domain we could find. So go go take it a look. I'll bet take you were look. shocked when you said trybooth. Holy crap. I know. It's like T-R-I booth.com. Outstanding. Thank you. Yeah. So show us your booths. Uh, send them to us uh, in landscape, not landscape. portrait. Landscape. Yeah. Hold your phone like, you know, that way. Uh, and show us, you know, where you record your stuff and, uh, maybe you'll find us sitting in your booth, which would be really cool. Exactly. We love doing that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, you know, we do the show every other Monday night. Right. Live. Yeah. You know, we're, we're the live to tape. That's right. We record live this drive. before New Year's. Yeah. yeah. And, mm -hmm. uh, we'd love to have you in the audience. Aside from the mess we have in here right now, you can show them that, Sue. <laughs> There's uh, our, our rapidly de deployed <laughs> booth. <laughs> yeah. But we actually have people here tonight, and uh, we thank you guys for coming. And you could be here, too. Write to us at theguys at V-O-B-S dot TV. There it is right there. Uh, and say, hey, I want to be in the audience. Are you guys doing a show this week? You know, just... Figure we did it this Monday. We won't do it next Monday, but maybe the Monday after that. The math is hard, but trust me, you'll figure it out. I was told there would be no math, <laughs> but there is apparently with that. <laughs> uh, we need to thank, of course, uh, our sponsors, Harlan Hogan's VoiceOver Essentials. VoiceOver Extra. Source Elements. VOHeroes.com. VoiceActorWebsites.com. And J. Michael Collins Demos. Also the Dan and Marcy Leonard Foundation for the Betterment of Live and Recorded Webcasting. Uh, Mike Merlino was our guy in the chat room tonight doing an outstanding job here getting us all this. Yes, he's actually here, not yeah. at his job where he should be doing something else. <laughs> uh, and uh, his mom, Sue Merlino, our wonderful tech director uh, who's been do serving us so well for the last last year and a half. Uh, and, uh, of course, Lee Penny for being Lee Penny. Well, 2020 is upon us. It's already here. You guys better be ready because we're going to have a great year here on VoiceOver Body Shop. Uh, we love getting your suggestions and we love Reach teaching. Out to us. Absolutely. Yep. Because it's important to make sure that, you know, you're getting, you're getting your voice heard by people the right way. Because yeah. if it sounds good. It is good. All right. Well, that's going to do it for us. We'll be back next week, of course, with another great guest. And uh, that's going to do it for us tonight. I'm Dan Leonard. I'm George Whittem. And this is VoiceOver. Body Shop. Or VO. 
BS. Have a great 2020, everybody. TikTok. TikTok. TikTok.